Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. I wanted to do a quick video here for those of you who in the audience who need some of the very basics for mechanical pencils. And the question for today is how do you refill the lead on any mechanical pencil? Because I agree with you, I don't think that it's necessarily obvious on all mechanical pencils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start simple and give you some tips on what to look for. Now there is a general tip that I wanna give you for any mechanical pencil you're more likely to get a lead jam or you're more likely to get your pencil not working the more lead you try to cram into the chamber. So a really good thing to rely on right off the bat is that you shouldn't really ever be putting more than two or three leads into the chamber for a mechanical pencil. Otherwise, you're just gonna increase the chances that a lead doesn't dock into the clutch and doesn't work the way that you want it to. And so let's start simple here at the bottom and work our way to the top. So, you know, this is a pretty simple pencil. This is a Library of Congress pencil that I got when I visited DC a little uh, uh, while ago. And the first thing that you want to look for in refilling a mechanical pencil is that you want to go to the eraser. Many mechanical pencils, the access to the lead chamber is underneath the eraser. So you just wiggle the eraser out. And then if you look, there's going to be a little hole down there. And that is where you put the lead down in that little hole. And once again, you know, stick with just two or three. And so there we go. There's our start. You look for the eraser. So here's a situation that might be a, a little different, okay? Because every mechanical pencil is different. And so I'm going to try to remove the eraser here. Well, this eraser I can't remove, and it turns out for this pencil, the way to refill it isn't even related to the eraser. You want to look for a situation where you just pull the entire eraser dock out of the pencil. So in this situation, the whole dock comes out, and you got to be careful here. This is true for a lot of mechanical pencils. There is a little clear plastic tube in here, and then there is also the outer body of the mechanical pencil, and the lead is going to go in this little clear plastic tube that is located right here. So that's another place for you to look to refill your mechanical pencil. Next, there are a lot of mechan mechanical pencils that have caps, and so let's check that out. This is an example of a mechanical pencil that has a cap. You remove the cap, Underneath the cap is an eraser. You remove the eraser, and there you go. That's where the lead goes. Okay, continuing right along. Some pencils have even different separation points. And so, for example, this pencil, the uh, more modern uh, Pentel uh, Click pencil, you take this whole top section off, and the lead chamber is this green part that is right here is where the lead goes. It's different from any of the pencils that we've seen up until this point. And it's also similar for this one here. You take this entire top section off and it reveals this lead chamber that you can put your lead in. And so for both of these pencils, the break point is closer to the middle of the pencil. And so you just have to sort of uh, explore a little bit. Of course, if something is not pulling easy, don't pull too hard because you may very well be trying to separate a pencil at a point that it is not intended to separate at. And then uh, this... Uh, Pilot Metropolitan Pencil is where we really start to get weird. Okay, hold on. There's no eraser up here. There's no obvious thing for me to pull apart. Well, the pull apart section is in the middle and you reveal this weird thing that you may have never seen before. Well, once you get to that eraser, you pull the eraser off and that's where the lead goes. Okay, so you're always just hunting for these little features within the pencil that can help you to find access to the lead chamber. And then I've saved probably the weirdest one to the last. Okay, this is an example of a multi-pen. A multi-pen is a pen-pencil combo that depending upon how you twist it, you'll either have a pen come out or you'll have a different color pen or you'll have a pencil. And under these circumstances, you might be saying to yourself, okay, I'm gonna, the, this, this, this eraser twists out, I'm gonna pull the eraser. Well, well, that actually doesn't give you access to the lead chamber. This is just a fiction feed eraser that you can twist up and twist down. Okay, I'll pull here. Nope, it's not coming off. So what's happening? In this example, you have to unscrew the body of the pencil, and that exposes where the pens and the pencils are located. And you can see that I have the pencil uh, portion of the multi-pen extended out. What you want to do here is very gently 
give it a pull, and when you pull it, you can see that this little portion of the internal mechanism comes out, and this little tube right here is where you would put, you know, I would recommend just putting one or maybe maximum two LEDs in a multi-pens tube because you are just flirting with a serious problem. And then, of course, to reassemble it, you just gotta find the little hole that it popped out of. It's all via a friction feed, and I think that I might switch this to bring it closer to the end here so I can see it a little better, and then you just Knock this back to where it goes inside the body and everything twirls around again and you can assemble everything together and screw it together and there you go so some of you in the audience have been requesting the basics of how to refill a mechanical pencil and so there you go i hope that this video helps you and i hope that this video helps a lot of people online you know make it go viral and let's really help out some people refilling their mechanical pencils have a great day everybody